Uh, so it's it's another week, and um, shit. And stuff happened. Oh god, did it fucking in the happen. world? Let's let's get to the shit that ha God damn it. I'm just I'm effectively at God damn it. Intro. We should change the name of the show to that. <laughs> Each week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience, go out worldwide, interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment. We like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And you may be watching this on YouTube. Several of you seem to enjoy it on the YouTubes. And several of you don't seem to enjoy it, but you watch it anyway. I know, right? And that's confusing because you really hate us. Actually, you hate me. And. Nobody ever complains about Nash. Everybody on YouTube hates me. And I would like to say, I don't care. One of the things about doing what I do for a living is when people ask me, what do you do? Um, I, I, I would say, do you make, vi I make videos online. And used and to be, like, are you a Nazi? No, no. It used to be, they'd be like, oh, you mean like porn? And I would say, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I would have a lot more money. Now they say, when I say I make videos online, they say, oh, you mean like porn? I'm tempted to say yes. Do Just you know what? better, honestly. D d yes, because... And the money's better. Like, I tell people I have a web show, and they're like, really? And I'm like, not that kind? Because I'd be able to charge like 80 bucks a minute or an hour. This, this is, this is, this is why... I don't like to say what I do. YouTube stunt at Disney Resort lands Arizona man in Disney? June. A 22-year-old Arizona man was arrested on Monday after he told guests at a Disney Resort there was an active shooter so he could record their reactions and post it to YouTube. No. Dylan Birch was, quote, highly intoxicated and running up to guests at Disney's Contemporary Resort and telling them they had to evacuate because the shoot because of the shooter shortly after midnight. Birch then told the people he was joking, wanted to see what their reactions were for, quote, a school project. Incident caused a significant disturbance and the resort had to go on lockdown. Yeah, because here in America in 2018, some place gets shot up literally once a week. So when someone says there's an active shooter, we don't fuck around because that might be true. Deputies found Birch hiding in some bushes and arrested them. He was saying, the Orange, he was saying the Orange County Jail on disturbing the peace and disorderly intoxication charges. Honestly, he's lucky he's alive. You don't fuck with Disney. No. Like, I'm, I, I kind of wouldn't be surprised to find out that Disney has their own little private git, Gitmo under Cinderella's castle. And they just black bag your ass and you're never hurt from again. You don't fuck with the mouse. And... <sighs> That this is bad enough. All right, th this is bad enough to uh, a little slack because he was drunk, and that lowers your inhibitions. No, no slack. Well, no, because no normally most douchebags can keep their shit under control in public nominally. Alcohol doesn't turn you into a douchebag. Alcohol reveals the douchebag you already. Yes, are. yes, true. So no slack. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's. How is this funny? How How is the reaction of someone thinking, oh, God, I'm going to die now? Funny. The same way people think sending a SWAT team to someone's house is funny. Like, I don't get I don't get what the whippersnappers call funny these days. It just kind of seems like shitty or like that flamethrower to the feet thing last week. But you know like, what? Y'all sense of humor is broken. Apparently, this was not the worst thing a YouTuber did this week. Great. This was! Did that kid find another dead body or something? 
YouTube live streamer arrested for college bomb prank. Stop calling this shit a prank. That sent panicked bystanders fleeing. Hey, can, we, can we talk about the story to the left? Dying roach left exit. I heard it die in my head. Okay. Cockroaches yes. give a death rattle? Come on. I'm sorry, that's hard. Come okay. On. YouTube and Twitch personality calling himself Arab Andy was arrested yesterday after entering a crowded room on the University of Washington campus and playing a message declaring an explosive device had been planted and would soon detonate. At around 5 p.m. on Thursday, authorities say a man walked into a room while filming on his phone in his hand and, quote, asked for everyone's attention and a pre-recorded message emitted from a speaker on his jacket. Video from the live stream, which has been taken down by YouTube, shows people running around the room after hearing the recording stating, C4 has been successfully activated, bomb detonation countdown successfully started, following by beeping and audio of screaming. That's a felony. Oh, but wait! That's not a prank, that's a felony. But wait! Previous uploads showed Andy regularly used his live stream to profit off such pranks, soliciting donation as low as $3 via a paid commenting system to play messages of viewers' choice in public places. For $20, off, $20 he offered to, quote, scream Allah Akbar. Yesterday's fake bomb threat appeared to have cost a viewer $4.20. All right, you little stoner shit. Explain to me why it costs five times the money that a bomb threat costs just to say God is great. Because that's what Allah Akbar means. It just means God is great. It doesn't mean I'm a terrorist. It's basically like walking outside and yelling Jesus saves. Why does that cost more money than a bomb threat, which is a felony? But wait, it gets it's, worse. How can it get worse? In footage from his puppy? in footage from his arrest, which again he live streamed, it's unclear Andy understands the gravity of what he's involved in. Telling police at the time, "quote I didn't do nothing. That was text to speech. That was a donation." and repeatedly referring to the arresting officer as bro. People don't short Jesus saves before they kill people? Incorrect. <laughs> also, enjoy your Islamophobia. Yeah, you don't get to call the cops bro. And, 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 just, and you don't get to say you didn't do anything when you committed a felony. That, that is, is what is a terrorist threat. That is what is blowing... Crime. That is what's blowing my mind. Just the, the, the complete disconnect from reality here. That no no, that wasn't this is an internet thing, so it's fine. This doesn't count. Because it's an internet thing. Right, no. So I'm okay. So the cops aren't gonna be like, oh, it was just a prank. Ho ho ho. No. No, it's it's not no. like that. A bomb threat's a felony. Someone paid you four dollars and twenty cents to commit a felony. For yeah. one, you got bought cheap, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Cause I don't know if you if you've checked on what the costs of bail. Or it's a, more than that. Or a lawyer to a felony lawyer is, but four twenty. That's not even going to, to pay for your cab fare to no. get to the lawyer. Um, it just, it's, it's blowing my, I, I don't, I hate, I hate being associated with this. Yeah. Like, I, you should just tell people you do weird porn. I should. Because that's, that is more respectable 
socially acceptable and so also YouTube. Oh no, no, God, I don't do YouTube. I I spread honey all over myself and then ride around on a scooter. And I I want to point it's, out it's fifty dollars an hour if you want to come to my channel. I want to point out that both Twitch and YouTube were just letting Arab Andy hang out on their platform. It didn't even raise any red flags. Well, nope. The question is, if Arab Andy is actually of Arab descent, that's fine. Because that's the same as me calling myself Irish Tara. Uh -huh. If Arab Andy is a fucking white dude, uh -huh. that's let me see. Let sending a clear message. Let me see if we if we get a picture of uh, where is it? Uh, where, where's the, where's the suspect's name? There's no, they don't have his full name in anywhere in here. Which no, is they true. don't. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. No pictures. I was just no. looking for the same thing, and they don't seem to. They have the other guy's real name. Yeah. Regardless, just no one's paying attention. No one's minding the farm. No one's no one's watching anything. They're just they're just letting things yeah. flash right on but, by. But if you accidentally let three seconds of a pop song in the background of your video while a car drives by Deleted You're fucking done. Yep. Yep. Deleted. I mean, god damn it. It's it's just it's just a prank, bro. No, that's not you fucking That's not a prank. What have we created? Uh, what have we these people who are so disconnected from fucking reality? I mean, yeah, it's a thing. Like Fuck. the damn kids today, man. They little fucking sociopaths. I look forward to your comments. I'd like to remind you that I don't care that you hate me. I'm old and I'm bitchy. <laughs> uh let's let's uh let's move on to just more conventional crime. Okay. Have you ever seen Reservoir Dogs? I have. Here's the stupid version. Oh. Bizarre Seattle robbery getaway attempted amid Mercer Mess rush hour traffic jam. Seattle. Seattle police on Wednesday described, quote, a bizarre robbery in which four people stole a guitar from a store, then crashed into each other in their getaway cars in rush hour traffic, and finally, two of the armed suspects turned on each other. Wow. Police say that just after 6 p.m. Wednesday, three men and a woman entered the Guitar Center store on Westlake Avenue, stole a $1,600 guitar, and then fled in two separate cars. Let's pause. Why do you need two cars to steal one guitar? One guitar? Why? Why do? Why do we need two? Was one car a decoy? For reasons didn't work. It didn't work for reasons unknown. The suspects began chasing each other, causing a multi-vehicle collision and grinding to a halt in Mercer Street traffic. One of the male suspects grabbed a machete and confronted another male suspect jumping on the hood of his car. The other male suspect responded in kind by brandishing a gun. So, secondly... The homeboy literally brought a gun to a Nice to a fucking gunfight. Police arrested those two... Over the Police arrested those two and also the female suspect. Their suspect was able to escape one foot. Officers recovered the stolen guitar. Like, you like guitars. Jiggly Saint says they went on a fender bender. Oh. Well done. Okay, I yes, I, I am very much a guitar guy. And I'll tell you something, a $1,600 guitar is not worth this shit. No. First they, of all, why did you need four people in two cars to steal a guitar? Wasn't there a story a while back about a guy who got out of a fucking guitar center with a guitar in his, pants, in his pants? And he just walked out. You need one dude and baggy one, pants. One guy. One guy. 
No, I could. This isn't Ocean's Eight. Like, you don't need a whole team. I could see some. I could see th there are guitars you would need a whole team for. 1952 Fender Telecaster original. Well, like that. You'd need a whole team. A number that had the six things. That's pretty huge. You wouldn't be able to shove that down your pants. You know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Richie yeah. Sambori, he's the big heart-shaped guitar with the yeah. six songs. But, okay, so first of all, you didn't need four folks. Second mm. of all, not that $1,600 guitar, $1,600 guitar, kind of not that big a deal. I mean, that's only $400 when you split it four ways. Yeah, and finally, what the hell happened on the getaway? Yeah, what happened here? That you thought it was such it was a good time to hop on the roof of the getaway car. Well, clearly there was some dissent in the ranks. But you know what? You know where you handle that shit? Back at the hideout. Yeah. Where you divvy up the loot. Yeah. Not in traffic while you're trying to get because you all got arrested. Yeah. Congratulations, you all fucked up. I I, uh... <laughs> and the knife to a gunfight. I mean, could you just imagine at that point the cops are looking at this and going, should we tell him? <laughs> should we fucking tell him? It'll break I his mean, little it's heart. Machete. It's an impressive knife. <laughs> but unless you're really good with that knife, the gun's gonna win. Oh... Uh... We all saw Raiders of the Lost Ark. A sixteen hundred—that's a sixteen hundred dollar guitar—is a brand new guitar. It's not that rare. Did the guitar cost that much now? Sixteen hundred. Wow. For the top of the line ones, yeah. That's the high end stuff. And I'll just little side detour. I'll explain. You know why the, 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 they're considered so high end? Because they're made in America. They also sell guitars that are made in Mexico that are just as good for about half that cost. Same company, Fender, Fender has the American Elite Stratocasters and the American Deluxe and the American Standard. Those are all made in the American factory. Then there's the Fender Standard that's made in Mexico. And the Fender Standard, the Fender American Standard, about the same damn guitar. So really the only difference is how much they're paying the line workers. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's... It's not that big... Why the fuck? It's not that big a deal. It's not that big. Now, if you're talking, like, a vintage guitar, that's different. If you're talking, like, B.B. King's guitar... Lucille. Was it Lucy? Lucille. Lucille. If you're trying to steal Lucille... Yeah, you need an elaborate plan with a team, and that might be worth getting in a fight over at some point. Not the fucking Guitar Center. What the shit? No. <laughs> Probably nothing they have at Guitar Center is worth all that. I'm just <sighs> gonna guess. Well, I've got even more shit. More stupid. This is one of those ones where... When you... Remember, if you were ever a little kid... I was I, never a little kid. I... I was, I was, I sprung full, full grown from the head of Zeus. I, I remember when I was when I was little, and you did something wrong, and you know you got caught. You, or you you were worried you were going to get caught, so you came up with an elaborate yarn, yeah, to avoid getting in trouble. And it was it never worked because it was easily disproven. Um, but you know what? You grow out of that. Except or you become president. Eh. Oh. Or you become this dude. Pits and fire started after man accidentally spilled lighter fluid. Okay. Fire sparked at a home in Pittson, Pennsylvania. Man living there told police a bomb was thrown through his window. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Larry Jacket. Really? Larry Jacket. His last That's name is, is Jacket. 24. 24. 
of Pitson is charged with criminal mischief after police say he had admitted to starting the fire in his apartment. Happened just after 3 a.m. Sunday. According to papers, Jack had admitted to police he was high on Xanax and Adderall while refilling a Zippo lighter. Xanax and Adderall, that's like Xanax and Adderall. Like, where do you wind up? We're on fire, apparently. Like your brain's just vibrating in your skull. Um, while refilling a Zippo lighter, he accidentally spilled the fluid and caught the table on fire. He told police he panicked and initially told them someone threw a bomb through his window. Okay, Larry. Larry. When you say things like that, they bring out people called arson investigators. And they will find out. If there was a bomb. Yes. Yeah. You can tell job. that you could... You, even if it was just a bag of some accelerant and someone yeah. threw it, you can tell from the splatter pattern and from what... Yeah, they... they they, they there got... are people whose job it is to figure that shit out. Yeah. Like, fire forensics is a thing, and that was not a sustainable lie, Larry. No. And you're, you're in the moment, you can say, okay, you could tell them you were really high, and you fucked up. Or, there was a bomb. Yeah. Yeah, you see, the difference is, you were really high, and you fucked up, probably not going to jail right because those are prescription drugs you probably shouldn't mix them but you're likely not going as to long as they're your prescription drugs yeah you're not going to jail for that you're going to get right. in trouble the insurance people are not going to be happy with you yeah but you're not going to jail however when you fake a bomb then that's going to be a problem then you get into the handcuffs and bye-bye that's how that works. That's how that works. Like you don't get, and here's here's the running theme tonight. You don't get to just make shit up <laughs> about things that kill people in a civilized society. Like that's not, that's not just bad etiquette, it's illegal. Like you don't get to just make shit up about things that will cause people to die. You don't. Yeah. You, you don't you can't just make shit up. What you should do is you should get chemicals to make shit up for you. Car thief on LSD thought he was playing Grand Theft Auto as he led oh. cops on a chase. Oh God. A Grant's past man told police he'd taken LSD and thought he was living a real life version of the video game Grand Theft Auto when he stole a car in front of patrol deputies and led them on an over 40-mile-long chase through Jackson County. Two deputies were awaiting a tow truck to haul away a 2003 Toyota Camry uh, after an arrest, uh, arresting the driver of an unrelated drunken driving case. When 23-year-old Anthony J. Clark got inside, he then drove off, evading one deputy's efforts to stop him. While speeding through Ashland, uh, Talent and Phoenix... Clark crashed through several chain link fences off the roadway, ran over spike strips twice, and drove the wrong way down several roads. After several uh, attempts, a patrol car managed to bump the rear of the Toyota, caused Clark to spin out in Medford. Clark tried hitting a patrol car, then ran from the Toyota. He fled to a mobile home park and was arrested when he tried to steal another car. Now, you know what the sad thing here is? All of it? I have played this exact same sequence in Grand Theft Auto. Oh, God. I, as, as I'm reading it, I'm re yeah, okay. You, you get in the car. You got the, the you got a wanted level. That's your wanted level one. Okay, now, you, now you're wanted level two. Drove through the fences. You're at three. Over the spike strips. Yeah, they're going to get... Okay, they spun you out because you got up to a higher wanted level. Okay, now you got to go find a new car. Oh, shit, they caught you. Wasted. Here, I, I feel like we're we're burying the lead here. Yeah. These two unsuspecting cops <laughs> had pulled over some other fucking asshole. Yep. Drunk driver. For drunk yep. driving. And we're waiting to tow that fucking asshole's car. Yep. When this fucking asshole <laughs> runs up out of nowhere, hops in said car, and takes the fuck off. <laughs> You 
thought you were going to have a pretty standard day at work. <laughs> and now, like, how do you decide who chases this fucking asshole and who chases this fucking asshole? Because you've got two fucking assholes. <laughs> and you can't trust that one to just stay there. Oh. I will say, here's, here's the one thing about GTA. I have played it back in, a, a while back. I played it a lot for a while. And I'll tell you, after you played it... All right, here's an example. You ever played Tetris a whole bunch? I've never played any video game a whole bunch. Well, it's a weird thing about video games is I play a game like Tetris for like a few hours sometimes. And then I go to bed, I close my eyes, but I still see fucking Tetris. Mm -hmm. If you play Grand Theft Auto a lot, like for a big long stretch, and then you have to like go out to the store or something, as you're driving along, you're still kind of your head is still in GTA space, and you're you still going to pick up a hooker that you can murder. No, but you're sitting there, you're sitting there at the light, thinking I can just get up and go and get in that car and drive off because yeah, that that you think, but there is still that 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 wall that's that stop reality filter. Don't play Grand Theft Auto on LSD because th that's yeah, that's like all the all the oxygen free walls. Just go on. Yeah, I think that's the takeaway here. <laughs> yeah, two great tastes that do not great taste great together. <laughs> he and let's let's be honest. Let's look at the mugshot. He still looks like he's not sure. Yeah. He's like, when do I restart? I got arrested. Yeah, he, he is not on this planet. No, no, I, no, 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 I got, I, okay, I'm w just waiting for my, where's, when does the level restart? This, this loading screen is taking forever. Dude, like, is my system broken? <laughs> I need to reboot. I need to reboot. What the hell? You do need to be reboot. <laughs> just not in the way you think. And finally, we have one more this week with spectacular stupidity and spectacular photos. I mean, I have been very oblivious when driving more than once in my life. This makes me feel better about all of those times. All of those times. It's from Madison, uh, Greendale, Wisconsin. Despite flagmen barricades, motorist drives into construction hole. Oh. Oh my god. Look at that shit. Look at this shit. Wow. A fire Your crew insurance is not going to cover that. No. A fire crew had to help rescue a motorist who drove into a hole in a construction zone in southeastern oh god, Wisconsin. Yeah, there, you can't get out of that. Oh my god. Greendale Fire Department posted photos uh, af Monday afternoon showing a red crossover vehicle that went past flagmen and barricades into a construction hole, nose diving into the hole in the road. Photos showed a towing vehicle pulling the, the vehicle from the hole. It appeared to have some front end damage. No shit. Just a little. Well banged up. The fire department said the driver didn't appear to have any serious injuries, if at all. Wow. How does that happen? I don't know. There were flagmans, there were signs, there were barricades, and yet. And yet. Did you think he was playing Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> did he take the same acid the other guy did? Oh, that is not a happy car. No. How the... How the fuck do you miss all... Okay. I am, They're not subtle about that shit. It's all neon. For this reason. I I have missed construction signs before. I have missed exits before. I have I have gone the wrong way down a one-way street. It's Especially here in Charleston, we have too many one-way streets. Mm -hmm. I have fucked up on occasion. But this is like having like a great big whole bunch of fucking information telling you yeah. don't do this and you're like this is like looney tunes level of <laughs> like there's a roadrunner being like stop your car no seriously i'm not kidding splat 
Uh, was the driver texting by any chance? Uh, Lady Ming Xiao, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't say, yeah. Though here's a horrible thing that's... I, I, we, we don't know if, if distracted driving had anything to do with this. I mean, this might have just been plain... I mean, it seems like probably. Here's a weird thing that started happening. Now you've got your phone. You can mount it right on your dashboard. Yeah. And we have Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube, all of this stuff. Well, they you mount the phone to use your GPS. Yeah, but you can put it up there and just watch TV. If you're watching TV in your car while you're driving, you shouldn't even be allowed to walk places. There's literally... I don't even like the cars with the backseat TVs. Because when I'm behind your car, I can see it, and that freaks me out. <laughs> like, it's distracting to the car behind you. Yep. Because I can see your kid watching Moana <laughs> in the car in front of me, and it's weird. I don't even like the animated billboards. Yeah. Like, we're getting into some Blade Runner shit that, like, you just get overloaded, and you gotta pay attention. Yeah, I, I didn't have any of this shit going, and I rear-ended a lady a few weeks ago. Like, this is, I just, this, fuck. How do you, I, I don't understand how, there's just a guy there whose entire job is to wave flags yeah. at you. Yeah, that's his day. And you, you're just like, nope. Yep. How do so you I'm miss this? I'll be fine. How yes, I guess the first thing we learned this week is you, you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention. <laughs> Eyes on the road. That doesn't just mean look at the road. That means you got to be engaged. We've learned that LSD and video games, not a really good combination. No. Although I got to I got to admire this guy. He he got pretty far. Yeah, yeah, 40 miles? Well, actually I was thinking of four star wanted level, but he got pretty far. <laughs> um that too. Yeah. Um we've learned that if you fuck up, don't exacerbate the fuck up just by own it. lying to the police. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to own your fuck up. And I know the feeling. I've made fuck ups like I've had car accidents and I've done stupid shit and you you want to just make some shit up. It doesn't work. We've learned that save the squabbling for the hideout. Finish the heist first. Finish the heist first. Yes. Then have. Then you can argue over who gets to be lead guitar in your garage band. And finally, we've learned that YouTube is a flaming hell hole. How did it come to this? Fucking algorithms. I don't know. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's a mess over there. Little bit, yeah. Please click like and subscribe. <laughs>